going on my friends back again with another video today I want to talk about the creator gold preset pack for Adobe Premiere Pro link down in the description mediamonopoly.co I talked about it a little bit in my video about the bundle where you could get this and the business essentials together today I just want to talk about the presets themselves and the let's themselves how you can put them in Premiere how you can put them in Photoshop use them however you would like if you guys would like this check out the website like I said link down in the description it's gonna bring you to this page and is this right here now this is the first time I've actually included a bunch of LUTs within a bundle so let's click on here and we're gonna check out the features um, you guys can see the before and afters of what the LUTs are gonna give you all you need to do is download that if you guys would like to it's on sale now if you guys would like to take advantage of that and then let's hop into Premiere here and let me show you how to install quickly within Premiere and then I'll show you how to install the LUTs within Photoshop so it's very easy as you can see I have the presets right here if you do download that file guys all you need to do is just go to your effects tab sometimes it's here or sometimes if you're in the editing tab up here it's gonna be on your right once you find this folder once you find this folder in your effects library this is presets it's the very first folder just right click there and then go ahead and click import presets now all you need to do is just find wherever you save those presets so right here you guys just need to click here and click open it's gonna open up in that presets folder you guys can just open it up and find it or what you can do is just search my name Max Novak and it'll pop up right there so create a preset bundle and we're gonna talk about those in a little bit let me show you how to install the LUTs real quick okay guys so to install the LUTs it is actually very simple all you need to do do is just make sure you're in your color workspace up here and then you can go ahead and just click on a clip and it'll pop up let's just go over to this creative tab right here and you're gonna be working through this to apply your LUTs every single time now to get your LUT in here what you can do is just click this little drop down arrow next to look and then you can go ahead and click browse now once you put these LUTs in the specific folder what you can do is you don't even have to browse your files you can just scroll down here find my name and then all the pack is gonna be here so soft ocean studio vibes Sun and moon travel vibe wheat field and and then there's also beyond the pines but to get that in the right folder let's go ahead and click browse and then you guys are going to want to navigate to this exact place so double click on your main hard drive right there and then let's go to program files double click Adobe double click Premiere Pro and then double click Lumetri and if on if you guys are on Mac it's also a pretty simple process if it's hard to find it there should be either in the Remi or if you just do a quick little Google search how to find your Lumetri LUTs folder right here now this is where all your LUTs for Adobe Premiere are Pull up another little file explorer, find wherever that pack is, take the LUTs right here, they're just all .q files, and then you just need to drag them over into there. Now I've already done it so I don't need to. Once you drag them into there, you can just click open, or what you can do is open that drop down menu and find it. You may need to restart the Premiere just so they can load into this drop down bay. Once they're in there, you guys are good to go. Now in Photoshop, you guys can also use this. It's also very simple. Now all you need to do is just open up Photoshop, click that adjustment layer button, and then just go to color lookup, and then you guys are gonna be be able to do the same thing so load the 3d LUT and what I do is I just look up the same spot where I put all of my premiere LUTs so I'll go to the same place Lumetri and then I go to LUTs and then I just throw them in here so find wherever they are so for example right here click on them drop them on there and you guys are gonna see now you can change them by just dropping the opacity to make it more or less if you want to kind of blend it in a little bit more and I just want to show you that you can do the same exact thing dropping the intensity down within Premiere so say for example we want to drop a little LUT onto here let's go back to where it says my name and then let's go ahead and drop something like wheat field on here so we drop that there say it's a little bit too dark or a little bit too much colors being washed out what you can do is just in this creative tab just drop the intensity you can kind of find a happy medium and that's looking pretty cool nice cinematic look makes the ground look really cool in HD you could also double you could also bump it up if you would like so make sure you guys use that slider because it doesn't have to be on 100% the whole time alright guys so now that we talked about installation let's just talk about what you can do with these how you can combine these what these really look like let's just hop in here and I'll show you a preview of what we can get and then I'll just go through and keep it brief because I want you guys to explore with this so we have the morph cut transition really cool one a lot of crazy trippy distortion there we have the glow flicker kind of like an essential effect that I use so much we have the glow transition probably one of my most used transitions because I love having the glow I love affecting the lights in a scene something like that and then we also have this cross display some more crazy trippy distortion but kind of more patterns like and then it just goes back to normal and then we also have some more stuff with colors TV glow a bunch of really cool stuff so let's go and click on that effects pack go back to our effects guys and then let's find the creator preset bundle right here and then we can go ahead and show you how to use these now for some of these it says two duplication or two adjustment layer to be able to pull that off it's really easy let's just zoom in here I'm gonna hold down alt drag up on it and that's how you duplicate it then you take the ones that say to duplication 
and you place it on the duplication just like that. Now you can play that through and we have a nice little glow transition. Looks really awesome. That's the glow transition one, guys. Now the coolest thing about this, you can actually double up on these and just keep adding onto here, combining these together. So say for example, I'll put the ghost color hue on this top duplication and I'll put morph transition on the very bottom. So this is three of the presets mixed together. You guys are always gonna get some crazy looking results. You can experiment with what it looks like. You can combine all of them if you really want. Here's the morph transition with the glow, with the glow transition mixed together so like I said guys only seven presets but you can combine them in any fashion with this preset or any other presets that you guys might have to create some really awesome cool effects which is really gonna be useful for you guys in case you're getting stuck you don't know what to do in a certain situation that's why I think there's so much value within presets because anytime you're stuck anytime you don't know what to do with a certain place in your video you can just experiment with these see how it looks maybe even mix them together with what you have already and you guys are gonna get different stuff new stuff every single time you guys can place it as if it was a transition or you can just drop it on a clip all drag and drop no external plugins needed so pretty easy now let's talk about these LUTs so five different LUTs as you can see we have the before and after there's descriptions on the website talking about them a lot this one gives you a really nice golden skin tone really HD looks we also have soft ocean just gives you that kind of nice contrast brings out the blues a lot and moon is a contrast between red and blue so that one's really cool travel vibes is a really nice one it'll turn kind of like greenish scenes into this nice cinematic blue as, as you guys can see so really nice beautiful really nice for travel videos or for outside in the water stuff like that and then we have beyond the pines which is probably one of my favorite LUTs I've made this one will take a scene and really turn it into something completely different change the entire vibe of it brings out this nice gritty dark look and if you have a night scene you can throw it on the night scene make it a lot better so it works with a lot of different situations anyways I don't want to talk too much more on it I want to let you guys explore for yourselves email is down in the description below as well as there's a readme give how to use it it's very simple so it's pretty brief Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, helping me create more content for you guys in the future. Like I said, another free pack is on the way. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.